Residents of Samaru in Guso, the capital of Zamfara state, are still terrified since the discovery of the lifeless body of a veteran broadcaster, Hamisu Danjigba, two days after he was declared missing by his family. The corpse of the renowned journalist was found inside a Sokowe ditch after residents have complained of unpleasant smell that polluted the community. The report. The deceased was last seen by his neighbors on September 17, when they prayed the sunset prayer together at the community mosque. A staff of Voice of Nigeria Vaughan, the broadcaster was killed by yet-to-be-identified persons who molested him and dumped his corpse inside the trench. Reports had it that his killers stabbed him with knife five times in the stomach and then strangled him to death. They also cut off his hinge joint while trying to put his lifeless body in the ditch. Though I was shocked because I saw no reason why Nigeria should be killed, brutally killed, because what has he done to anybody? This is a person that has been described by everybody that happened to meet, to, to meet with him as very gentle, very jovial. When the corpse was removed from the sock away, no member of the community recognized Hamis Ranjibuga, but his relations identified him by his fingers, legs, and trousers. Hamis's death has no doubt created vacuum among his family and friends that will be difficult to fill in the near future. A father of four, Ranjibuga's family, Friends and neighbors received the news of his death with great shock. The deceased is my father. His demise has made me feel so sad. But any time I remember that he died a mother's death, I feel so happy. There are so many good things about my father, some of which I'm just getting to know. He was a friendly man. He smiled a lot and was a peaceful man. I thank God because we have started receiving the blessings of the good life he lived. We have left everything in the hands of God and we know he will take over everything that concerns us. A peace-loving gentleman, Danjibuga will always be remembered by a resident of Samaru, Danjibuga village and the people of Zampara state for his generosity and simplicity among his peers. Media practitioners, Nigerian Union of Journalists and other professional bodies have lost a hard-working and dependable broadcaster that has paid his dues in the journalism profession. When I met, first met Anjibwa, I knew he had no formal education. This is what many people don't know about him. He had no formal education. And if he had any, it must be not more than primary school. But if performance can be compared to somebody, a trained person, uh, uh, compared to a degree level. So Anjibwa is very dynamic because he is his, of his broad interest in journalism he has been able to scale through to to to, to produce so many 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 uh, astonishing reports that uh, can be uh, compared to those who, are, who, 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 who landed the thing in universities the nigerian union of journalists zampara state chapter has charged the police in the state to hasten investigation of the matter with a view to identify the real killers and punish them according to the crimes they committed to make sure security agencies have done the right thing to address the matter by bringing those suspects or whoever is involved in the killing and molesting of Hans and Jibba. Justice has been brought to the family and to the union. Team. Three suspects, including two of the deceased nephews, have been arrested by the police in connection to the late Nanjibuga's brutal murder. Yusho Adamu, Trust TV, Gusau.